Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stone Block 3. I'm recording this right after recording the last episode, so if you guys have left any comments, tips or tricks or anything like that, I won't have seen it yet because, well, the video hasn't gone up yet. But anyways, in the last episode, we set up, I should say, I do appreciate every single comment, so don't make that stop you, I'll see it eventually. In the last episode, we set up this right here, Wall Singularity Automation, which is doing really, really good, actually. There we go, we just saw one go over. And we also have this one, Rail Singularity, which is also doing really, really well. Now, and also we have unlimited EMC as well. Like we, yep, we have that much. <laughs> Whatever that number means. <laughs> it's insane. And today I want to continue the work of making singularities because I think we're getting very close to being halfway there and i think there are these three right here that should be fairly easy to make ish maybe perhaps we shall see uh first of all i do want to make this i think i know what it does however the main reason why i'm making it is because the quest because now project e is completely done and all we need now is the transmutation table and tome of knowledge and then that is done, which is, of course, really cool. So, what are we going to do today? I am hoping to set up the add-on processing tier 2 singularity, as well as buff soul singularity, at least. So, we should get right to it. One of them is going to require Batania, and another one is going to require... Uh, where is it? Uh, it's in here somewhere. Mob grinding util. Setting up a basic mob farm, essentially. Um, so, I haven't really done this before, <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. We need a few things, so I think I'm going to set that room to be just that, because the mob soul singularity is made by mob souls, and mob souls has an 80% chance of spawning every time a mob dies, which is really what we want this farm for. So, let's take a look at this. Uh, Monster Mesh, which is basically a mob grinder, and that is going to basically be the thing that we use to kill kill the mobs. So I'm going to add that to the list. We are then going to be needing, I think, this a fan. Like it says here, mob fans will push mobs away from them uh, when given a resource signal. And then we need an absorption hopper or we could have an advanced pickup thing. But let's just make that. Let's just uh, do this, and then we need this. We need to make some ch cursed chicken feed, apparently. And for that, I need raw essence or fluid XP, which I don't know how I get. Um, machine outputs, mob crusher, huh. So that's interesting. Um, definitely need this raw experience bucket, maybe? Like, how do I get some of this stuff? Okay, this is the material from the mod mob grinding util itself. And, ooh, bottle of enchanting in the center of uh, separator thingy. That could be doable if I do have any enchanted bottles. I do not. And for that, I need fluid XP to get it, of course. Yep, that, that makes sense. And they're not emc either. All right. In that case, I think I need a mob crusher. Do I have one already? I do have a mob crusher. Perfect. All right. This should be fairly doable if I place this here. We should have fluids here. So if I go ahead and grab this, maybe grab a few. And I go here to the final dungeon. And I just find some mobs somewhere. Like it could be, you know, creeper. Maybe not that one. That's a special one. I don't want that one. I really don't want that one. Okay. You know what? It's a, it's a mistake taking creepers. It's a big mistake taking creepers. I'm taking zombies. Oh, no. What's going on? Why am I so slow? I am extremely slow. There's so many creepers here. I don't. I really don't like it. Okay. That's dead. Okay. Got it. Uh, you know what? I'll take you. <laughs> that works. Like some of these special creepers, they just... 
make you go really, really slow. I do not like it nor appreciate it. I hate it, in fact, I'm being dragged down. Okay, got the final zombie. Wow. Okay, let's get home quick. <laughs> Yikes. That... That was something else. How did I get... Oh, yeah, I already had those. Okay. Wow. I, uh... Hmm. Interesting. So if I just go ahead and make this right here. Like that. Place this. Place, like, the skeleton here. And I assume this thing is going to be needing power. Which I can work with. Place this. Uh, fluid? Essence. I think that's what I need. Just place you there. There. Boom. Dead. Keep going. Good. Oh, that's an ultimate one. That'll probably take a while. I think I need... Oh, I need a lot of essence, actually. I need a lot of essence in order to make this, because I need four buckets. Yikes. Not gonna lie, right now I am just flying around, picking up zombies and skeletons and whatnot, hoping to get enough to get a bucket, and then after that I don't know. There we go, I got one essence bucket. I need four more essence buckets. <laughs> so that's probably a couple more trips. Alright, that's another bucket worth. That's two. Third bucket. And finally, the fourth bucket. That should be that. I can get rid of this now. <laughs> Break this, get a bunch of that, and I can sacrifice most of it to become EMC. Except for the drum. Can I play this? No. That, that's disappointing. Oh well, get rid of that. Alright, so, with this I should now be able to get this. Cursed chicken feed. And uh, with that, well, we should be good to go. Now I just need to make some mob meshes, which we need to make some iron sores for. I don't know how many I'll need. Uh, probably three, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and make one, two, three, four, oh, two. I, di I, didn't, I didn't get enough swords. Um, no worries, I prepared kind of for this. There we go. <laughs> More swords acquired. <laughs> I got, I, I, I'm saying it too much, but I'm, I love EMC. Alright, there we go. Uh, mob spikes, and then one, and then I'm still missing a sword. So, there we go, that should be enough swords. Just like so, and boom, three mob matches. Next, I'm gonna need some mob fans, and I think I'm gonna need five? I think, with the way I'm gonna set this up. And speaking of, that's also going to require five levers. Okay, I also know that we can get a special type of glass, tinted glass, which we might already have some of. Yeah, I do already have some. Uh, just so, well, this basically blocks light, and that is something that we will need for this. Okay. Oh yeah, the absorption hopper as well, of course. Just one in a 7x7 seven seven, uh, area. Right, I think... I think we're ready. I just need to feed this to a voluntarily chicken. And we do have one here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright. Creates a 5x5 five five area, so we need to get some dirt, and I think this is everything that we need. Right, let's go down here. This is going to be our spot, and it's already a 5x5 five five area. That is perfect. Right, let us first of all set this up the way that we would normally put it, which would be like so, just so we can see where things are supposed to go. Then back here is going to be the farm itself. So I think we install tinted glass here, right? That is going to be the plan, I think. Something like that, and then we can cover it up in the top right there. Then we're going to have a five by five area of dirt, just like so. Uh, actually, let me think about this because I 
think I'm gonna push it back a bit here because then if we have the five by five area of dirt here, we'll have mobs spawning on this being pushed towards the killing area. I think this should work. So we'll have the fans in the wall right here and they will of course be needing some, oh wow. I might actually get another tool because it is a little bit too fast. Like it's a bit annoying. Uh, can I put this on here and power this? No. And also you're not pushing it far enough over. Yeah, unless you are. All right, this is the setup. Fans right here. Redstone on the back, turning them on. Yep, that works splendidly. Then over here, we're going to have the crushers. And then I wonder if this, I think, I would think this can just sit up here, right? This should just sit, okay. <laughs> this should be able to just set up, sit up here and we will then, hmm, if I do it here, I should be able to then go ahead and add some piping over to this guy right there. That would be kind of cool. It definitely connects, so that's a good start right there. If I could please configure this to pull and then up here, follow this along down to this. Yeah, I think this should work. I'm just afraid of the lighting, but if we go ahead and do this, I'm missing one, are you kidding me? I also need to put, oh, I have to ferro flare lantern. I don't know where that place is light. Ooh, that could be a problem. Big problem actually, because if I just go ahead and place this, yeah, it's still light, but is it because of this? No. It's just like that. However, I don't know if the, I think the lighting has an effect. Anyway, let's, let's place the eggs or the, the dirty egg and let's push all this. Oh, those guys probably, probably need redstone as well. That's an oopsie on my part. So if I just go ahead and kill you, go under here, under both of them. <laughs> And I need some extra levers. All right, extra levers, place there, place there. Yep, that's definitely what we needed. Ow, and it does hurt. Okay, push over. Very nice. I mean, that, that worked. This got picked up. Now I just need to, uh, I kind of want to use one of the other pickup thingies. Because this, I need filtering and yeah, no. One thing as well, I only primarily want to pick up, uh, yeah, that should work. I think that should work. Um, can I move it in that direction? Yeah, yeah, this should, this should work technically. And if I set it to whitelist so only mob souls get picked up, they should go in there. And well, that's already our first singularity from the ones that we have. However, I really, really don't think the lighting situation is going to work in there. But there we go. Eventually, mob souls will get picked up. I could put another one that then collects everything else and sends it to a storage unit or something. I just realized as well, this thing is EMCable. Hold on. Boom. <laughs> Done. I never have to make these ever again. So yeah, I could have another one just over here. And having a blacklist set of... set to mob souls, essentially. That's the wrong one. Increase that. Yep, that should do. Our first Bob Soul Singularity. I don't know if this is going to work. I think it should. We'll move on to something else and then we'll see how it works. However, the lighting from the Feral Flare Lantern is not ideal. That is amazing though. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Get in there. Hmm, I could make this. 
I don't know if that means that the lantern will never place uh, lights in there again. Might need a little bit extra of this, but it could be that that is the case. However, how do I get ice? Uh, I should be able to make the... nope. Should be able to... nope. Aha. Uh -huh. If I get water... And fill up as a stone. That's not how I thought that worked. Maybe okay. Okay. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. Oh, oh, there we go. Can I pick this up with this? No, I can't. I, I how, mm, how am I struggling with this simple task? All right, for now, this is the setup right here. I, again, still need to get rid of the lights. I need to figure out how on earth I do that. But for now, it does work very, very slowly. So I have used this absorption hopper instead. I set up to fluid, so all the XP will go up there. South, that is this chest, all the items will go here. And I'm hoping that by setting down this item as well, I'm hoping that the soul, um, mob souls get put into there as well. We'll just have to wait and see. This could take a while. Of course, this should be uh, completely dark. I'll figure out how to do that later. For now, though, it, I'll consider it done because we, we do have it there. It just wasn't from, from this. I'll keep an eye on it. But I want to move on to processing tier 2 singularity, and I think it's actually going to be easier than expected, except for the latex. If we have a dissolution chamber right here, we could go ahead and lock, uh, and lock input and unlock it. So I can tell it where to put different things and then lock it. And I think I will then be able to put things into it. So for example, it accepts all items from all sides. So I could go ahead and set up a bunch of personal EMC links with some of this stuff and set it to Output, output, output. I need the items first though, real quick. So these are the items that we need. We need to go ahead and do, uh, move out of there. okay, so glass, glass, redstone, redstone, glass, 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 redstone, redstone, something like that. <laughs> Diamond gear, crafting table, yep, okay. Crafting table, furnace, and I should be able to lock it. So now it has saved that thing right there. So if I go ahead and then take all these things back and tell it, you generate furnaces, you generate reds, you generate redstone, you generate diamond gears, and another one on top, which generates the stone crafting table, uh, just like so, right? That is going to get filled in one item at a time. Now I am just missing the glass panes and the latex, of course. Now glass panes, unfortunately, are not EMCable. However, glass is. And I think we'll be able to use some sort of auto crafter in order to do this process. For example, a crafter tier two from RF tools utility. Uh, if I go ahead and just get some glass, I would assume that I could go ahead and say, Listen, apply crafter. Remember current items in the internal and external buffers. Forget the uh, all items. Hmm, I need maybe a recipe thing. I think I need this. Oh, I, I, they can't stack. Oh, wow. Okay, that sucks. I think I can use this. Um, and then this. Apply glass pane. So it has it remembered now. And I assume that if it gets power and glass, so if I just go ahead and give it that, yep, it goes ahead and makes all the glass panes right here and we have the output. And the glass is EMCable, of course, so this should be very easy to do. However, I don't want to use this ender cell. I want just the basic one. So if I were here somewhere, place the crafter, which will then have to have an output. If I do it back here, if I place it here, 
It still has the crafting guard, uh, card, so all I need to do theoretically is give it a personal EMC link with something like this, where I say generate glass. This gets glass. This then does the operation because it has power. And I should be able to then output that into pull, maybe, uh, slow, not here, into that. Yep, glass panes are being taken out, and they should go into here. And perfect. Sweet, that is literally perfect. So when that needs more, it'll send over more. That is very good. Now it's just to the latex problem. And I think it is as simple as having a fluid extractor and then pipe it directly in and also a block placer together with... Oh, it does work. This does work. The mob souls does go in here. I just need to make the stock. Okay, that's huge. So yeah, block placer like we had for the last episode, like this, and then an ender drawer connected to that, which doesn't really work with how I have set things up. That is the wrong linking card. Oh wow, that I didn't even ask it to do that. That is perfect. Nice. I just realized, like, you know what? <laughs> That's a better way of doing this. Okay, block placer. I should be able to do this here. So if I do... Oh, I need the fluid extractor, right? Fluid extractor, place that here. Block placer, place that here. That is not... No, 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 no. No. That... <laughs> wow. That messed up everything, didn't it? Yep, have to go back where you came from. And then... Why is it facing the wrong way? Oh dear. Block placer, face. Not down. Okay. okay. Is it just me or. Am I just crazy? Like, where does it place it? there like what oh dear hmm it is just extremely extremely sensitive of where you actually go ahead and place stuff that's fine I guess just a little bit inconvenient but that's fine all right fluid extractor see not as complicated all right, personal EMC link. We have transporter, EMC link. Extract, need a log. Place this in here. That should give logs. This should place. This is going to fluid extract ever so slowly. And then I just need some pipes into that thing. Basic mechanical pipes should do the trick. Set this to pull. This will get latex and eventually it will make processing tier twos. However, this is probably going to take quite a bit of latex in order to do this. I am wondering if this, that's really not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm wondering if this, yeah, that's what I thought. That's a lot faster. That is a lot faster. And of course you need power. And as soon as you have power, you are going to lead that. Oh, wait, I need power from, it can, has, it can, okay. It'll have power from the bottom and then, no, get rid of that and then put it right there. Okay. Boom. There we go. 
process A tier 2s are being made at a pretty decent rate. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Yep, that is pretty good. This is set to output. We'll actually have this in absolutely no time. And this is working as well. Slow, but it's working. I may have the solution of not being able to pick up ice. This now has a, the silk touch upgrade. And if I hold down shift and right click. Yes. That works. So I do this. And that's not fast enough apparently. Do this. Do this. I just need to do this, I think. Four more times. There we go. I have four. I think that's all I need. I hope anyway. So I should be able to make a frozen pearl. And then inside this place, maybe use it. Oh, yeah, that's dark. I think that is going to help. I mean, it looks like it's already helping a lot. Actually, I just hope that that doesn't add more light in there. I really hope so. <laughs> oh, it is. It just added more light in there. Uh, that's a problem. Yep, that's more light. That is more light. Hmm. I mean, I guess one solution is to... I don't even know if it's this one. I honestly don't think it's that one. Because... It's probably that one, to be fair. Oh, well, it is working a lot faster now. Hold on, I need to take my magnet off <laughs> for this. <laughs> Look at this. It's actually working. And it's working pretty well. And this is coming along very nicely. So guys, I think I'm going to cut it there. Oh wow, we have 92 wall singularities. How many of these? How many of these? Seven. We're making great progress here, guys. And we have our first one. Mob soul singular. Oh no, never mind. I forgot we had... <laughs> I forgot I added the 45 in there and then that made the one. Anyway. Uh, I would love to get this one though, just so we have the like the quest complete. All right, one away, and I am assuming that that will happen in any second now. But while that happens, we now have a second one, and this is working a lot better. However, it has just become uh, light again, so I need to figure out how to get rid of it. Well, that. Anyway, this should happen any moment now. Yep, there we go, and boom. Our first processing tier two a singularity has been acquired. Boom, get the reward for that and get the reward for that. We are doing pretty well in the singularity business. So guys, with that, I'm going to call this an episode. I think I already said that. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed. We are doing really good with the singularities. I did want to go ahead and make this one as well, but we'll make that in the next episode, maybe together with something that's to the left of it. We'll have to see. Some of these are starting to get complicated, like this. We'll need to get into some blood magic stuff. Uh, the balloon singularity, which has a lot of different elements, which are not emc -able, so we'll need to do stuff like that. So yeah, but it is going to be really... Heh? It's going to be really, really cool once we have all of them made and we're able to make the Infinity Catalyst, which of course is the ultimate goal. But, like I said, that's going to be it for this one. Really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Until then, goodbye.